Hi, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krippner, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm a PhD candidate at UC Santa Barbara. I study volcanoes and what makes volcanoes erupt. And one of the questions that I get most often from my students is what makes some volcanoes more explosive than others? There are lots of reasons for this, but one of the biggest ones is viscosity. Viscosity means resistance to flow. So something like water would have a really, really low viscosity. So come here, take a look at my lunch. Here I'm boiling some water and you can see that the bubbles, the gas bubbles, they come out of the water really easy and they can move through it because water has a very low viscosity. But my soup, the bubbles don't come out really easily. And if I don't stir it, it'll definitely burn. So this is similar to magmas, right? So a lava, like basalt, has a low viscosity. Gases can move through it pretty easily. And so basalt volcanoes typically don't have as explosive of eruptions as, say, a volcano that might erupt something like a rhyolite. Um, this is actually from a volcano in California called Chaos Crags. So, uh, Really, although there are many different things that do make volcanoes erupt, viscosity is definitely one of them because it makes it a lot harder for the bubbles to travel through the magma before the eruption. So if bubbles have a harder time moving through the magma because it's more viscous, you're going to build up a lot of pressure inside of that magma chamber. And then pretty soon you'll get an eruption. And generally, we don't want those to happen around people. Thank you so much for joining us for this volcano moment, and I'll probably have you back for more of that cooking. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, Janine. Thank you.